Uh, well, leading into Supercross, you know, went really good. I got to spend a lot of time on uh, on the new bike when I signed with JGR. So we were able to uh, get ready for Monster Cup and have a pretty good showing there, which kind of led into you know some good uh, good momentum coming into Supercross and kind of felt good. You know, it's been a while since I've been able to keep that pace at Supercross and try to you know be be up front. So for the most part, you know, the first five or six rounds went went pretty decent for me until uh, I ended up getting a tangle up and hurt my shoulder. It was a uh, it was definitely tough, you know. One of the Supercross has been one of those things that's kind of struggled for me. I've always been either injured or not fully, uh, fully ready to come into the season. And this uh, last year felt felt like I had a good, good momentum coming into it. But um, yeah, unfortunately, I got hurt with the, into like sixth round and wasn't able to wasn't able to finish off the rest of the Supercross series. Yeah, it was it was good. The outdoor season started off slow. Uh, just kind of wanted to build myself back up to you know the old JG again, and I felt like uh, you know after we got through about six or seven rounds, I started really clicking, and we ended up getting on the podium and uh, in Redbud, and had another good showing at Unadilla, and you know a few other rounds got a bunch of top five. So I really felt you know with how stacked the field was this year, there wasn't anybody really missing, you know, and. Uh, for me, that was a big confidence, you know, coming into like, you know, the final rounds where I needed to go out there and show that I still have the speed and, you know, ability to run up with those guys. First moto at Elsinore, I mean, actually the day started off good just with practice and, you know, getting the fastest time in both of them. I, you know, I had to take that week off before uh, in Salt Lake, you know, my little guy was uh, in the hospital and it was a, it was a bad deal for us, but at the same time, um, you know, I'm, I'm there for, I'm there for Wyatt, and I felt like, for me, I needed to be there, needed to be there for him. So I ended up missing that week, and coming into Elsinore, I really kind of wanted to make a statement that I, you know, I know it was the last round and whatnot, and just wanted to make a statement. And first, first practice went really good. Second practice went even better, and just have brought that momentum into the first round or the first moto, and. Yeah, felt good. Got a good start. Started off great, and you know, led the first five laps. You know, until I was pressured by uh, Villapoto. But obviously, you know, he's been running that pace all season long, and it's been one of those things where I'm still trying to catch up and do it. And uh, yeah, I just I felt really good. You know, it made a few mistakes towards the end of the race, and you know, allowed Dungey to get by me and Ryan. But we still ended up on the podium first moto, and it felt felt really good. To, Kind of get after it. Uh, 2014 is not fully set for me yet, but uh, hopefully I can get something done here in the next couple weeks with you know the team that uh, I've been on with JGR and Toyota Yamaha. Hopefully uh, you know we can come to agreement and you know move forward and start building and getting ready for uh, for next year. You know starting all over again. And you know it's the best thing about racing is there's always more races and there's always a fresh start. And I feel like uh, I've ended my my season of the outdoors on a pretty good note, and I just want to keep that uh, keep that momentum rolling, and you know, push push to be up front.